we have Ashes of the Singularity. Now this is again one of the new titles that are DirectX 12 and um, really one of those games that you need a serious system to run on the higher settings. Fortunately it's got a lot of lower settings as well so you can actually get away with um, a fairly mid-range graphics card and still play the game but to really get all the visual candy and uh, get the most out of the game you do need something serious. Here we have the 980 Ti G1 Gaming and um, for the 980 Ti we've actually run it on our 4960X system. It says at 3.4 but it's actually clocked at 4.4 where we've got plenty of RAM, 32 gig RAM just to check that whether that, that is an issue which in none of the benchmarks it was. But here at P1080 what we saw is um, th this line here shows what the CPU can render. So we weren't CPU limited at all. We did get 51 frames per second average. It did dip down um, down a little bit on occasion. But overall, you could see in these lines here, this is uh, most of the time we were waiting for the GPU. So the graphics card was the bottleneck in the system. It's very nice about their benchmark here is they give you all this, this kind of information. You can see in uh, heavy loads when there's lots of... Um, units on the screen we've dropped down to 44 frames per second for a strategy game more than playable but um, just to give you an idea of how this game works um, this is set on it, its crazy preset if we go to its um, extreme preset you can see we still have a similar CPU range but now all of a sudden the average frame rates is, is closing in a little bit on our CPU frame rates and we managed to get above 60 frames per second average. Now this is an average, so as you can see here, we do um, drop down a little lower. We drop to 53, and we are getting um, some areas where we're waiting for the rest of the system. Only 91% of normal batches uh, was limited by the GPU, which actually says quite a few times um, we're waiting for something from the CPU, the motherboard, or the RAM, which on a system like this is very <laughs> impressive actually. Because it, um, it, it, it is, is using a lot of resources. Just to illustrate this point, we actually ran it on high as well. On high, you can see we've really closed in here. And now all of a sudden, we're in a lot of cases, we're getting limited by the system instead of by the graphics card. So on P1080, at, on uh, high, you're actually, your physical system is, is proving to be quite a big limit. But um, as an overall thing, as we said, on its crazy preset, it's, prob it's probably playable with a 980 Ti, although you're not getting great high frame rates, but should be sufficient. If we look at Ashes of the Singularity at um, 2K, we can see you really need quite a serious system to be running it at um, its crazy presets. This is a, a very new game, and it... Uh, is incredibly resource intensive. One of the interesting things um, to look at is how th these lines compare. This is basically your total score is GPU and um, C CPU, your overall system combined, which is the blue, and the CPU score is the green. So as we can see here, with it, it's not too similar. It's, it's quite a few areas the CPU could have handled a more serious graphics card at 2K. Um, we're running it on our 4960X system with the 980 Ti G1 Gaming. Overall, the system is the fastest uh, one we have for multi-threaded programs. We actually saw it, um, the, the game utilizing all six cores at up to, um, I think it was 84%, which is very impressive for a game. Most of the multi-threaded games don't quite get as high as this one. But what we saw here on um, Crazy Presets, we saw an uh, average frame rate of 43 frames per second. The CPU bound frame rate is 82. So this is where we're starting to get to a point where it'll be very interesting to see how it scales with SLI, which we'll do that test later. Um, the overall system resources, you can see this is a GPU bound says, it has, is it waiting for the graphics card or is it waiting for something else? It's still mostly graphics card that we're waiting for, except in the heavy batches where we have a lot of units on the screen. There's 5% of the times where we're actually waiting for the CPU or the motherboard to deliver something. But overall, this I'd say it's pro probably still playable for a strategy game. It, this is the lowest we um, 
got as an average in the heavy scenes was 38. But this is getting to the point where you might want to consider setting it a little bit lower. If we drop down to extreme settings, then um, we see our average frame rate climbs up to 54%. And again, we're seeing a similar kind of thing where we're mostly GPU bound, but every now and then we, we're waiting for the system a little bit. But here, it, only in heavy batches, we got down to 46%. Um, overall, this is probably a very nice place to, to play it, although you can still play it on the crazy presets if you're willing to accept a little bit of um, shadow if you get into really, really heavy heavy um, conflict environments. If we take it down to high, however, then we're very comfortable. We're, we're at 67 frames per second, and now we're actually starting to get into areas where sometimes we're more waiting for the CPU than for um, the graphics card. And our lowest we got here in heavy scenes, the average was uh, only 57 frames per second, which for strategy games, 30 pr games per second is probably fine. So it r really is a very nice card to play this game at 2K. But overall, mm, sort of between extreme and crazy presets, what you're looking at there. With Ashes of the Singularity running at 4K on crazy settings on our... 4960x platform with 32 gig RAM. So this is a, at the moment our highest in testing platform. Because we're running it actually it says 3.6, but we actually have it clocked at 4.4. Um, what we see here in Ashes is we're very much GPU bound. The green dots is what the CPU and the system can deliver. The blue dots is what uh, the actual graphics card and system combination have delivered. So again, this looks like an excellent place to test SLI. We've got 38 frames per second where CPU bound, we should have been able to get 70, 78. So we could double our graphics card performance on the crazy presets and still be able to um, uh, run it with the CPU. As we can see here from the GPU bound batches, this is most of the time, 98 to 99% of the time, we were waiting on the GPU. Our average frame rates was only 38 frames per second, which isn't great, but um, as we see in normal batches, this is not too heavy fighting. It was average 43, and then it dropped down to 38, then to 34. Um, I personally use this setup to play Ashes on, and it works really well. Except if you really get uh, the enemy rushing you like crazy, then um, I've seen it drop down to about 17, 18 frames per second. So this is definitely something which is better to run with uh, either a, something more powerful than a 980 Ti or with an SLI setup. But now, if we t take the detail down a little bit and go from crazy to extreme settings, we, we gain a few frames per second and we're still very much GPU limited. But um, as you can see, the 4K resolution, we don't get quite as big as a leap as at the lower resolutions going from uh, the crazy to the extreme preset. But if we take it down to the high preset, then we get a big leap. Then um, a lot of the extra computational problems are taken out of the equation. And we now can get a 55 frames per second average, which is nice and playable and um, should be fine. And here in the medium batches, we actually saw we started to get to a situation again where, where we're limited by the physical system and not just by the graphics card. Still, by far, mostly graphics card, but um, uh, we're getting to a point where here, if we run a SLI setup, we'll probably be limited by um, CPU power, not by the, the actual graphics card. But overall, Ashes, very playable with the 980 Ti at 4K. Especially if you go down to something like high settings. Remember, this is still quite a high quality we're running at. So if you want to um, run it at lower quality, you can get the frame rates a lot higher. But we personally feel that this sort of level is um, perfectly playable for Ashes.